Greetings everyone, I end this video. I have prepared a ranking of the 10 fastest characters we have seen in the cinematic universes. Although I have made many character comparisons between Marvel and DC until today, the number of fast characters in the cinematic universes has started to increase considerably, although I will be using characters from mixed universes. This list will mainly feature heroes and villains. If you want more of this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And turn on notifications. Now let's move on to the video. Number 10, A-Train. A-Train, who we know from the boys, really deserves to be last on this list. A-Train's most vivid scene in the series was shown in the first episode when he tore a woman to pieces on the sidewalk. Here we saw what the speed force is like, but as I said, its maximum speed cannot compete with the speed of light. He was able to reach a maximum speed of 1,600 kilometers per hour. While that's an insanely high speed for an ordinary person, it barely makes this list. Number 9, Thor Odinson. You may recall that in the MCU, Thor can move at extremely high speeds and fights even in Quicksilver's frozen vision. I end this scene, even Iron Man's laser, which is supposed to move at the speed of light, has stopped. While Thor continues to fight, IT has also been officially confirmed that Quicksilver can potentially move at the speed of light in the MCU. Thor's speed on Earth alone was much higher than any other character. IT was also a known fact that he could open wormholes with his bifurst power and accelerate to the speed of light thanks to the thunderbolts he gained in the last movie therefore thor was one of the fastest characters we have ever seen in the mcu even gordo god watcher who moved in the shadows and challenged the gods could not keep up with thor's speed considering that thor is now wielding mjolnir thor is still moving at very high speeds if i were a crazy thor fan i would put thor at the top of the video but it's not too much of an exaggeration to say that Thor barely made this list. Number 8, Shazam. Yo, back! <laughs> Off! Hyperspeed! Check! As those who have seen the movie Shazam will know, Shazam gained powers from six Greek gods. Among these powers, Shazam gained the speed of Mercury, and it is a known fact that he can move at speeds up to the speed of light. For example, Shazam and his brothers could not fight other gods because they had not yet mastered their powers. However, at one point we saw Shazam use his speed factor to fight Hespera and give her a speed attack. Did your dad have super speed? <laughs> course the fact that he ignored such an important feature really made me leave shazam far behind potentially shazam could have been really fast but the speed he showed us wasn't really enough otherwise i don't think shazam is anything less than black adam number seven black adam You remember how fast Black Adam was even in the first scenes. Just like Shazam, he was powered by six different gods. However, Black Adam's powers came from Egyptian gods instead of Greek gods. The god who gave Black Adam his speed was known as Horus. I in the first movie, we saw that Black Adam used his powers better than Shazam. At least Black Adam was aware of his speed power. Black Adam's maximum known speed is 990 miles per hour, and they calculated that based on the speed he got when he was catching those super jets.so Black Adam's maximum speed seems really low, but it's not clear if he's at full speed that let's say Black Adam has to make a sudden maneuver in this scene. I in that case, it's very difficult for him to use his maximum speed. Also, if he can't stop himself in an instant, he could go too fast and kill the kid inside the card. That's why I think Black Adam is much faster. But as I said, this is the official data at the moment dot at this point, though, because I see Black Adam at least at the maximum speed of light there is nothing that requires the character to reach maximum speed so i put him this far down the list number six mac carry <laughs> oh! 
Mac Carey from The Eternals is one of the fastest characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. However, he certainly wasn't the fastest. I in the movie, he managed to cross the Atlantic Ocean in a short time, and when his speed was calculated accordingly, it was shown that he could travel 2,800 miles in one hour. Dot, of course, in this case, we understand that Mac Carey easily slapped characters like A-Train. Moreover, he is shown much faster than Black Adam and Makari's speed in the comics was almost the same. As Black Adam, both characters could travel at the maximum speed of light, or I think twice the speed of light, but of course in the cinematic universe Mac Carey didn't have that feat, I mean, even in the scene where he beats up Icarus, he didn't travel at light speed. But he managed to dodge Icarus I lasers. Makari's speed power comes from cosmic energy given by G.O.D.S.O. Inside each of them there is an unlimited energy of unknown origin, and this cosmic energy allows Mac Carey to run forever. Number 5. Captain Marvel We know very well that Captain Marvel does not have accelerated vision like other speedsters, but with the cosmic powers she gained thanks to the Tesseract, she could reach very high speeds in space travel. Being fast on the planet or in space travel means a lot, because even the distance between the Earth and the Sun is 8 minutes at the speed of light. With Captain Marvel's speed, the distance she traveled even exceeded the speed of light. However, its maximum speed on Earth or on any planet was announced as 950,000 miles in one hour. This was the speed given to Thanos in Avengers Endgame when he traveled and analyzed the planet where Thanos was hiding in seconds. But as I said, Captain Marvel's maximum speed is more than enough to leave all characters behind. I, in fact, in the What If series, Infinity took Ultron to the core of the planet. To do that. She had to move very fast and use an unlimited amount of energy at AT the same time. According to the What If series, Captain Marvel's flight speed would even exceed Superman's flight speed on Earth because it would take only three seconds to travel from the planet's surface to space. But since there was no scene where Captain Marvel could be seen outside of time, I put her behind Superman. Number 4. Superman Superman was considered much faster than characters like Shazam and Black Adam in the DC Extended Universe. Superman's speed power increases depending on the radiation he absorbs from the sun. The Kryptonians who had just arrived on Earth were not as fast as Superman, but Superman's speed was really high. I'm not just talking about flight speed. It's enough for him to be able to slowly track his surroundings and have a heightened perception. For example, the Kryptonians in the Flash movie couldn't. See the presence of Flash and Young Barry. I, in fact, Flash and Young Barry destroyed all the Kryptonians one by one. Superman, on the other hand, could sense Flash's presence and perceive his speed. And because he came back from the dead in this scene, his power level was not at its peak. It is a well-known fact that Superman can easily break the sound barrier when he speeds up. I, in the Snyder Cut. He was in and out of the exosphere in about two seconds. I say don't underestimate characters who go from earth to space but here's the thing superman accelerating on earth would really destroy the world i mean if he pushes his limits and speeds up even more then it's possible that the world could be destroyed and life on it could end so far we haven't seen superman's space travel but according to old movies he has traveled around the world and turned back time this showed us that he could at least travel at the speed of light. If the DC Extended Universe version had continued, maybe we would have seen something similar. Number 3. Quicksilver Here I took Quicksilver from the X-Men series, but I would like to point out that the MCU Quicksilver is potentially much faster. You may recall that Quicksilver from the X-Men series was able to save an entire school from an explosion in a matter of seconds. That was a level of speed we never saw in the X-Men movie franchise, and you probably thought, like me, that Quicksilver in the X-Men series was much faster than Quicksilver in the MCU. But unfortunately, Quicksilver, played by Aaron. Taylor Johnson was said to be able to accelerate to the speed of light according to the official statement made by the MCU.so now that it's confirmed that the character can accelerate to the speed of light, 
We have to accept that Quicksilver in the MCU is much faster. I wanted to treat them as a single character since they are both counterparts of the same character in different universes. But the scene in the X-Men series where Quicksilver saves the kids at X-Raver school surpassed all of them. Superman speed feats so F.A.R. that I in fact, we've never seen a character that fast in the DC universe, with the exception of the Flash, who turned out to have a legendary speed of 7.4 million miles per hour. Number 2 Flash Le Let me describe the speed that Flash had. The character was so fast that when he started running, he was fast enough to turn back time. The Flash's first speed feat was shown in the Snyder CUT. I end the scene where they woke up Superman. Barry had to power up the mother box as soon as it touched the water. I end this scene. When Barry was too late to power the box, he turned back time. Pulled it out of the water and powered it up. Later in the movie, we saw the mother boxes merge and bring the world to. In Apocalypse, I end this scene, we saw Flash enter the Speed Force, turn back time and fix everything. Up until this point, Barry thought he could only turn back a small portion of time. I end the upcoming The Flash movie. It was revealed that he could rewrite the reality of a universe and completely change the past. No other character had ever been able to do that. So the speed of a character who is fast enough to reverse time is actually uncertain. But if you had to give a number, you could say six. 170 million miles. Number 1. Supersonic. We love you too, Sonic. Sonic was an extremely fast character. Even in his normal form, he had a very wide field of vision, much like Flash or Quicksilver.as the character's name suggests. Sonic was normally known as a character who could travel at the speed of sound. However, it was announced that he could potentially travel at the speed of light. Super Sonic was featured in the second movie in the Sonic franchise. Having received the power of the Chaos Emeralds, Sonic could now do anything he wanted. I am the originals. The speed of this form of Sonic was immeasurable. Sonic, who transcends time and space thanks to the Chaos Emeralds, cannot have uncontrolled speed like the Flash.so. It's actually a flaw of the Flash that he enters the speed force and accidentally rewrites time. But since Sonic is outside of time and space with his Chaos Emerald, he has no such problem. So when Flash changes the small thing in the past, Batman changes too. But when Sonic does something like that, it never happens that S.O. while Sonic has. The speed to compete with Flash even in his normal form, Super Sonic must be much faster than Flash. Super Sonic's speed was immeasurably fast, infinitely fast. But couldn't other characters have made this list? I don't think so. So this is my list for now. That be why the way, like I said, guys, you can put the other speedsters in the order I put Flash.so. I didn't have to add each character one by one. Otherwise, there wouldn't be room for other characters. Yes, friends, that's all from me for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to see you again later. Take care and goodbye.